Good morning, folks. There is just one thing we're covering today, space weather. We've had several solar flares, including an X-class event. There is a CME heading for Earth right now. There is a proton storm underway, and geomagnetic storm conditions are back as well. Let's look at the last 24 hours on our star and the central active regions were responsible for the relevant flaring. We'll get a couple looks at those events and other wavelengths as well and see why the threat for even more is still there. But first, let's go to the GOES X-ray flux chart and over on the right you can see those flare events with the biggest being a long duration X-class flare that launched a CME. Those flare signatures are most easily seen as light flashes on the low angstrom X-ray and extreme ultraviolet view here. The X-class flare was actually from production in both the northern and southern active region sunspots facing the Earth. SOHO coronagraphs make no ambiguity in showing a full halo CME. This coronal mass ejection has certainly been launched at Earth, and when it arrives in the next two days, it will almost certainly produce moderate to strong geomagnetic storm conditions. As often happens with bigger eruptions, the interplanetary magnetic field had protons surged through it and accelerated to Earth, which have begun arriving now and are in a level one proton storm event. We'll need to monitor that today as well. The signatures of these events on the ionosphere are clear. The X-class flare lit up the West Pacific, and minutes later, the protons began raining down on the polar region through those interplanetary fields. Another M-class flare lit up the Indian Ocean region a couple hours later. We also have a resurgence of the geomagnetic storm. The timing suggests that this was yet another magnetic crochet from the solar flare combined with a slight shift in the interplanetary magnetic field as well, which was carrying those protons. It's another example of direct flare, rather than CME, geo-effectiveness. There is risk for more today as these sunspots are big and one has certainly got tremendous magnetic complexity. We'll be coming back this afternoon when the Enlil spirals update, even though it's pretty obvious what they're going to show. Full halo CME from an X1 solar flare, significant for sure, but not kill shot level expected. Full forecast of its impact coming this afternoon, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.